Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here today with a really great group of folks that made some news last week. Um, and the answer, I'm here with Keith Walden, and you can raise your hand, Keith, uh, who's the founder of Departure Lounge, which is a host agency and a physical location down in Austin, uh, a Virtuoso member. Uh, ben Nayberg, who is the chief operating officer for Booking Vault, which is a booking uh, system. Uh, and Jennifer Wilson Buttigieg, who is the co-president of Valerie Wilson Travel. And why is she involved? Well, you're going to find out because he's also been part of this deal. And last week, Keith announced that he had selected Booking Vault and Valerie Wilson to travel uh, to really create a new travel advisor booking platform for his group. And it's actually one that other travel advisors uh, who are not part of uh, Departure Lounge can use uh, if they want to sign on for it. So we're going to talk to them about this deal, about what it does, uh, and a whole lot more on Insider Travel. Now, Keith, first of all, can you describe in brief what your, your agency is, what Departure Lounge is, where it's located, and how many travel advisors you're affiliated with? Sure. Uh, Departure Lounge is uh, based in Austin, Texas. We are a international host agency focusing on luxury leisure travel. Uh, we've got about 130 travel advisors, most of those in North America, but we have a new team we're developing in Europe. Over the past year, we've uh, opened up as host agency services throughout the European Union and the UK. Uh, so we have a growing team over there. Um, and uh, we also have physical locations, as you said, we've got retail storefronts here in Central Texas, where I'm based, and uh, 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 Austin and San Antonio, you can actually go to Departure Lounge as well uh, to uh, schedule the time and meet with the travel advisor on our team. Yeah, I remember when you launched that model a few years ago, it was actually, oh my God, a return to physical locations. That was incredible. And that you've got a very nice location down there in, in Austin and San Antonio. Now, why did you decide you. you needed a new travel advisor booking platform? What led you to, and what led you to select uh, Booking Vault with Valerie Wilson Travels, Air Offerings and Support? Sure. Well, when we launched eight and a half years ago, I was, uh, as you know, determined to steer away from antiquated technology. I had, at that point, been in the industry for 30 years, and I just saw such a need for uh, advancement in technology. And I also wanted to focus on a travel agency that would attract uh, top talent, new talent, brand new people to the industry. And I didn't want to have to ask them to step back in time to learn how to use antiquated technology. You just don't, you're not going to get the top talent unless you can pay them at a high level and also give them the right tools uh, that are not old. Uh, and so I was really on a mission from day one with Departure Lounge. What led for led to me finding uh, Booking Vault and talking to Ben is when we were actually planning our expansion into Europe because I really wanted a platform that all of my advisors could access both in North America and in Europe. And I started reaching out in all different directions and that path led me to Booking Vault in a discussion with Ben. And I realized that their technology uh, could be customized to an agency's specific program. So if they're the consortia they're with, the preferred programs that they have, uh, the sources of air contracts that they may have. And so Jennifer and I had also been in talks for the past few years about how we could figure out a way to uh, combine. We, we like each other, we're friends, and we also just wanted to figure out a way to work together. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Valerie Wilson Travel um, has fantastic air contracts and relationships and programs. Uh, and I made a decision I did not want to ticket air as a host agency uh, for multiple reasons. So we've always used third party air resources uh, since our beginning. Um, so the combination of finding the right platform technology with Booking Vault and then being able to figure out a way to incorporate Valerie Wilson travel uh, into the mix with the platform uh, was exciting. And we started working on it long ago and or we're rolling it out now. And so it was a good time to tell the world with uh, our announcement last week. No, and that, that was certainly great. It was one of our top stories last week. Uh, Ben, tell us a little bit about Booking Vault, uh, what it is, and, and how many travel agencies you already provide support to. Yeah, sure. So Booking Vault is a B2B travel technology group, and we primarily focus on the leisure segment in the industry, and we essentially help all sorts of groups power 
distribute and monetize their travel products. We have three main products we work with. Uh, one of them is an API. So we plug into larger online booking tools, into corporate booking tools, into all sorts of groups. Uh, we power out of the box OTAs. So essentially white labeled booking engines. So mm -hmm. folks can monetize large user groups in one go. And the product that we're talking about today are, uh, or is our online booking tool. So we focus on uh, the leisure segment primarily. And so we're powering uh, essentially a SaaS model where folks like Keith can connect their agencies to groups like BWT who are gonna be powering their content. Now, do you already work with other travel agencies uh, beyond uh, Keith's agency? Yeah, we do. So across our three products, we have roughly around 22 million folks that we support. So we focus on uh, leisure and, and then we also, I guess, support uh, B2B to C, B2B. And so we have agencies, independent contractors, and then all sorts of OTAs, partners. Now, how did, how did this integration with Valerie Wilson Travel's airline booking system come about? Did Keith say, look, I want, I want her booking, th th their booking system uh, to be part of this, or did you already uh, know about it and you can integrate it? Yeah, good question. So essentially, we're completely content agnostic. Um, so it's up to the host agency or the agency uh, on who they want to connect with. And so going back to what Keith said, uh, Jennifer and her team have been wonderful to work with. They're great people. And so we just made the connection. Uh, we're content agnostic. We connect them and they take care of the rest. So essentially you're, you're, you're integrating all of those air bookings from Valerie Wilson Travel and also uh, hotel bookings because I believe you also get some from Virtuoso's hotel collection, right? Yep, that's correct. And so Keith's got the relationship. Um, we plug them in and uh, we run the SaaS model. Got it. Uh, Jennifer, can you tell us a little bit about Valerie Wilson Travel and, and also your air booking system, how it's developed? Um, thanks, James. Sure, be happy to. Uh, many people know the name Valerie Wilson Travel as a large TMC that's headquartered in New York, focusing on luxury travel with doing small to mid-sized corporate and some meetings and incentives. The big news during the pandemic is we became a fresh company. Right. And what we are going to be is one brand, one company with two brands. So the very exciting thing here is most of you know I've been with Val and our family business for over 30 years. Right. And I like to solve business problems. I like to say, what's the pain point in the marketplace and how can we solve it? And this is a great example of that on B2B. And it's really important that I say it's B2B. It's not B2C. Right. Ben may have that on his side of the business, but this is about doing business with good people and like-minded individuals that see travel as a viable career and hospitality as representing one in 10 people in the economy. So Valerie Wilson Travels, a standalone brand of Frosh. We're still headquartered in New York, office, in New York with offices around the country. We host independent contractors. We actually call them associates. Right. Much like a consulting firm where we consult and we provide the needs that they are looking for. So to be very clear, um, we have advisors and associates, some that like the GDS and want to use the GDS and that platform's fine for them. And that's great. Some that are new to the industry that don't know what a green screen would look like, mm -hmm. more of a point and click model. And we were looking to really create something. And as Keith said, this conversation probably started in about 2017. And our goal for Valerie Wilson Travel is to provide a variety of business services to independent travel agencies or agents that wish to enhance, quite honestly, their income and industry standing. So I could not be more proud than to sit here on this Zoom, I can't wait till we do it in person, with two colleagues that were, we're doing something cutting edge. That's what's great to see. No, it, it, it sounds great. I know that's why there was so much interest in it. And, and you do this, even though obviously Keith's agency is a virtuoso member like yourself, and, and it ostensibly, uh, you know, it's almost a competitor, but you're kind of, you know, a co-optician working together. Uh, is that what you sort of came across is that you want to help other agencies as well, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think this whole industry only gets better if we keep elevating it. And you've seen us do that through consortias, through ASTA, through technology, et cetera. But I want to put a fine point on this, that clients have become suppliers and suppliers have become clients. And the whole ecosystem 
systems changing and right. no one sort of stays in their one box anymore. And this is actually a perfect example of that. Um, so think of it as a new opportunity, a new alternative. Um, Keith talks about new technology and not wanting to needing to use a GDS. I need to because I serve many different constituents in my organization. Right. But for me, this is putting the path to the future. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, I was going to ask you how you got together with Keith, but because you never see Keith anywhere, right? No, um, and <laughs> never. I mean, I, see, very, I know you see him all the time because you probably guys three decades the with the virtuoso <laughs> relationship. But I mean, again, this is about people wanting to do business with other people. Right. Um, I think if anything, the pandemic and COVID and almost two years sitting in this crisis mode to say, how do we convince people collectively to have confidence in travel again? How do I look and say, who do I want to do business with? Right. Who do I trust? And those are the things that matter most about this type of initiative. Absolutely. Now, Keith, uh, you, you've described this booking platform as sort of a game changer for your agency. Well, why is it a game changer? What, what does it provide to your advisors, uh, many of whom or most of whom are ICs out in the field? All of our travel advisors are ICs. And uh, by bringing in all of these different resources in one very easy to use platform. It's just such a time saver. It also is a, it's clarity because we're putting all the best product, whether in air or hotel. On the air side, we're bringing uh, to the table through Valerie Wilson, incredible commissionable fares. Through Booking Vault, we've got access to net fares from 50 different organizations. Puts a lot of power in the hands of the advisor, but the platform is as easy to use as Kayak, uh, which is awesome. And it's really just for a travel advisor to use. On the hotel side, we bring in Virtuoso rate. We bring in the preferred agency program rates from more than 20 different programs that we're a part of, as well as some access to mass market, kind of under four-star product as needed, easy access. And since we're a non-GDS agency, my team would have to jump around to different websites. If they wanted to book Four Seasons Preferred, they jumped to that website. If they wanted to book Bellini Club with Belmont, they, they went to that website. If they wanted Rosewood Elite and so on. And so to have everything into one place, it's really a game changer from a time savings and efficiency. But also when I am talking to a bright person, whether they're young or they're thinking about their second career later in life, and I show them the tools to use and how easy it is, because this tool, then we can teach them to use it thoroughly and effectively in less than two hours. I mean, it's very straightforward. So it's a game changer in actually many ways from a, an efficiency standpoint to a training standpoint to an attracting new talent. It, it really changes the life of things. And it's really interesting in the, in the past couple of years, Departure Arms has attracted some heavy hitter advisors from traditional agencies. And those advisors, regardless of their age, you know, got used to using the GDS and they started to think of it as their secret power. And I'm like, no, I'm having to retrain the thinking. The GDS is not your secret power. Uh, it's your relationships, your connections, your agreements uh, that is your secret power because that is what allows you to enhance the travel experience for your client. It's not the GDS. Um, so it's interesting what our industry has done to people and somewhat brainwashing on some of that. But sure. um, I definitely think this is a step in the right direction. It's where the industry needs to go. It's only 30 years past due. So uh, I'm happy to be on the forefront of it and I'm happy to share it and promote it with uh, the rest of the industry. I have no uh, investment interest in Booking Vault or Valerie Wilson Travel. These are just my friends and colleagues. I have, uh, I will not financially gain by other uh, agencies using them. I just would like to see innovation and change in the industry. And these are great options of companies to work with. Yeah, you have no GDS contracts right now, right? We actually have a Saber account so that we can get access to some of the data uh, because that's the only way some of our supplier partners will provide data, but it flows into Booking Vault uh, in a modern platform. Right. So, uh, but otherwise, you, you know, we're, we're not a, a GDS agency. Okay. And Ben, you know, just to go along on that, that track, uh, uh, do you, how do you work with the GDS as if you do? I mean, uh, and, and provide this booking platform that does include air. 
Yeah, so we have uh, several different types of integrations. We have direct connections, we have APIs, and we do have GDS connections. So we sit on top of the GDS. And so if, uh, if Keith needs to add a preferred program, it's as simple as just adding a rate code, or if we need to update commissions, uh, VWT can just update commissions dynamically. So it's really, really easy to use. It's, it's live, it's dynamic, it's plugged in, and you know, it's, it's, it works pretty quickly. Okay, and so you are actually actually going to actively market your platform to other travel agencies, and you can customize it to include pretty much anything, such as this example with uh, Valerie Wilson Travels Air and Berkshire's Hotels and whatever Keith needed for this particular uh, project. Yeah, exactly. So we're we're creating a uh, we have created a plug and play solution uh, where we can easily spin off a white labeled or private labeled online booking tool per agency. Um, Today we're looking to partner with larger enterprise uh, agencies that have got you know over 50, 100, 200 advisors and uh, empower their tools. But yeah, absolutely. So they would have access to uh, BWT airs if Jennifer would be okay with that, and she, if she would like to, you know, and her team would like to make agreements with them, Virtuoso as well. Uh, we could plug in different consortia, different preferred partners. We have our own. Uh, content on the air and hotel side to round out any offerings that they have. It's not mandatory. Agencies aren't obligated to use it. If they want it's there, if they don't want to, they don't, they don't have to use it. Um, but yeah, absolutely. We, we customize the tool and uh, we're looking to partner with some, you know, larger enterprise type groups. Well, it sounds like it's a pretty good new solution. Now, Jennifer, for yeah. your part, uh, uh, you, you initially developed this, your uh, air and hotel booking system internally at Valerie Wilson Travel. I guess I, because of the Frosh, uh, you know, the merger with Frosh last year, did, did, did this make it even better? Because now they, you have access to all their stuff too, right? Actually, a lot of people would say that's a loaded question. So I'm going okay. to do a couple of things here, James. And I'm going to say Valerie Wilson Travel is a standalone brand under the Frosh umbrella of companies. Right. And very proudly, Valerie Wilson Travel is staying virtuoso and we're playing in this lane. Okay. Frosh is remaining signature and playing in that lane. And that, in fact, is another big game changing moment in the industry to say, you trust us, you know us, we're going to keep the walls between these two. And you okay. actually can do business with competitors. You can be owned by competitors and you can have competitors as independent contractors, sort, sort of point one. Point two would be the program is actually called Valerie Wilson Travel Air Access. Okay. And we've had it for over 20 years. And right. it was sort of one of these hidden sleepy gems that nobody knew what it was. And it started out quite honestly after 9-11, and I see a lot of parallels, coming out of 9-11, coming out of COVID. People looked at efficiencies. They looked at what do you do really well? And we actually started it with um, Travel Dynamics and used to do the pre and the post for Harvard, Yale, Smithsonian on all their cruises. Over time, that continued to grow. And we partnered with Virtuoso Air and helped supply some of their contracts. We've worked with privately held companies like Criterion, where we do their pre-post. We even work with businesses like Nat Geo mm -hmm. and yeah. Trek Travel. So Trek Cycling, they're the bicycle company. They have yeah. the logistics of the biking. We do the travel logistics. So this goes back to a B2B model to leverage what you do particularly well. What's different about this time is this is high touch, high tech. And when Keith wanted to know VWT was able to service it, the goal is an online play. However, we have a VWT departure lounge coordinator who was a corporate booking advisor who was put on furlough, who we brought back. And she is there to handhold the IC just as we would do a regular customer right. and with a normal IC base. So um, sort of an old idea that's been bought, brought back but with new technology, but keeping that same high touch. No, absolutely. So basically you're, you've started, created a whole other line of business uh, for Valerie Wilson Travel here with your air booking system. And now you can actually expand it even further, I would think. The, the great news is it's actually been under our fulfillment program for years, but nobody really knew what fulfillment was. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's giving a wonderful B2B play for people who want to treat travel as a very viable career not as a hobby, and to do it professionally and to raise the bar. Now, Keith, uh, I understand you also have other technology products like Travify. It's a mobile app for itineraries and travel documents and travel and, and as, as well as travel contact, the CRM system. And obviously, does this all integrate into this new booking platform as well? 
Travify and Travel Contact do have an integration, uh, and we are certainly interested as things evolve uh, in our toolbox that uh, everything talks to each other and works together, and that's just the, the long-term vision. You know, I, I my long-term goal is when an advisor makes a booking within our platform, it goes directly into our CRM as a confirmed booking, and they don't have to touch it again to get right. paid. Uh, and my back office has full visibility at that moment. So that's that is the path that we're going down. When when we're going to get there and have that all working, who knows? But that's the vision that I have that I would like to accomplish at some point. Uh, in the meantime, I'm, I, everything that we put on the table uh, helps the advisor with all parts of their business, from the proposal stage to the booking stage to the uh, confirming it and then getting paid stage and getting paid at the highest level possible. Um, and we all have we already all only use modern elements for those things. So our goal will be to continue to improve those and then also to get them to all talk to each other more. Um, so stay tuned. No, that'll be great as you 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 know advance this. Now, uh, Keith, I'll stick with you. What are the cost advantages of having this new booking platform? Cost advantages. Um, um, you know, I would say that it's you know is really it's not more expensive. That's the other thing that's kind of a misnomer out there in the marketplace is you talk to some of the owners of the traditional agencies and they uh, have many reasons why they say they don't want to change. And one of those is they're, they're scared it's going to cost them more. Right. Um, and I would say not only is the cost very comparable with these modern systems, but the time savings is huge. Uh, you can have more time to be booking and selling versus dealing with slower, antiquated technology. And then you can also attract uh, much higher producing advisors. Um, you know, most of my advisors are in their 30s, 40s, 50s. My top selling producers, um, you know, many of those are in their 30s. Mm -hmm. uh, they only want to work with modern technology. Uh, and then my, my older advisors are savvy and they only want to work with modern technology as well. Um, so it's, um, I think there are so many benefits to taking a step forward with modernizing what you're doing, maybe also looking at your business plan and your compensation model at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, I think it's not a higher cost, it's a much higher return on your investment. Now, one more question for you there. Um, how long do you think it's going to take to train your advisors on this new platform? How easy is, is it to learn? Uh, what's the learning curve? We've been doing that at about 20 advisors at a time uh, and then just focusing on certain sections, whether that's the air section or the hotel section. Um, so far, it's been very easy uh, to do. And, you know, we're also the first user of this particular uh, platform that Booking Vault has customized for us. And so uh, we're getting all that valuable feedback and input from the advisors on little tweaks here and there that could make it even uh, more of a, a Ferrari for them to use. So uh, it's not been hard at all so far. Uh, thankfully, uh, Booking Vault and Valerie Wilson have been key parts. They actually do the training uh, for us, uh, for the team. So I just get to sit back and steer my folks into uh, some top-notch training provided by our partners. No, but I, I no. assume you've. I assume you've just to try out the training. You've done it too, right? No, for sure. Yeah, and I use the tool. You know, I've actually we started Ben. We launched the initial version of this over like a year and a half ago, and so I've been using the tool in its iterations throughout all this time, and and using it for my own travel. Um, so. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's really, uh, and in my new advisor onboarding, in my first session with each advisor that I do, I take them through and I show them the key points of the booking tool. Um, it's just that easy to use. Literally, if you can use Kayak or Expedia from a consumer standpoint, then you can easily use this platform as a travel advisor. It just has a lot more capabilities than the consumer version. And, of a, and, a, lot, and a lot more products too, right? <laughs> A lot more pro well, a lot more product and a lot more ways. You also have the visibility to see, you know, what kind of savings you might be able to bring to your client and also the options for your own compensation. So you can make a um, smart choice for your client, a smart choice for your bottom line as an independent contractor. And we put all the options out there. So if you want to compare a net fare that we have access to and 
doing a markup versus the commissionable fare that we have access to. It's all right there in front of you. You can pick either one. Um, and you know, we, and we don't have any mandates. It's they're all independent contractors. They make up their own decisions. Our goal is just to put the best options in front of them and let them make the best decision for their clients and for their businesses. Absolutely. Now, uh, Ben, any closing thoughts? Is there anything else you want to tell our 98,000 travel advisors about uh, Booking Vault and, and this new booking platform? Uh, yeah, sure. If uh, if you're looking to modernize your agency, bring it into the 21st century, get away from the GDS, we'd love to talk to you. And uh, where can they go to find out more about Booking Vault? So bookingvault.com or shoot me a note at ben at bookingvault.com. That's easy and very, very simple. Uh, Jennifer, any closing thoughts about what would else would you tell your peers out there in the market about uh, a, your, your, your airline booking system and uh, how it can integrate with something like Booking Vault. I think at the end of the day, it comes down to independent contractors and advisors who have a passion to serve. And this is another tool. This is a perfect example of tools and iterative progress. And those that don't want change, this is an industry that's going through tremendous change. And there are lots of people out there that you can join. And uh, most people know where to find me, but if not, Jennifer WB at VWTI.com. Fantastic. Now, uh, Keith, I'll let you close it out. Anything else you want to tell folks out there about uh, this new booking platform in your agency? Well, we're just looking forward to a great year ahead. Um, we um, started off the year with really, really strong sales and our sales last year were up 89% over 2019. Um, so we're looking forward to making the most out of this topsy-turvy year ahead. And uh, this platform will be a big part of that. And well, James, I want to it's, sure, sure thank sure. you, actually, James, for taking the time to speak to all of us. You do a wonderful job of reinstilling confidence in travel. And um, this type of interview was always uh, a pleasure to be a part of. Well, I want to thank you. And thank Absolutely. you, Keith, and thank you, Ben. Uh, for taking the time to speak with us about this because I saw this news last week and I felt it was something that we should focus on. And I immediately uh, sent off an email to Keith and he set it all up. So I want to thank you guys for uh, appearing on this. I mean, uh, as for me, I'm, I'm traveling like crazy. So you got me on a week when I'm actually not, I'm actually in the office. So uh, as we were talking about earlier, uh, because I'm about ready to set off on a lot of travel for the rest of the year. So again, thank you all and good luck with the future for this system for both this deal and then uh, deals to come uh, that will help travel advisors out there in the market. Thank, Thank you, James. Thanks. Much appreciated. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.